Good morning and welcome to our liturgy for the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. Would you please ensure that all electronic devices are switched off? We celebrate today the Feast of the Ascension, which is an essential part of this great season of the church year. It is a reminder that all things are held in Christ, who does not abandon us and will return to bring all things to fulfilment. Would you please stand and join in the opening hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm very happy to have 20 parishioners with me in this live streaming mass. In a very special way, I would like to welcome all of you. Believe or not, during this time that I live streaming Mass, I feel very awkward, very sad to see all the empty pews in the church. I know how my parishion is with me, with the new regulation, for the government, we allow at the moment only 20 people to attend Mass, and this is you. Thank you for being here this morning, my dear parishioners. In a very special way, I would like to welcome our parishioners who follow us through Facebook or YouTube. My dear parishioners, in a very special way, I would like to pray for all of you this morning. In a very special way, I would like to pray in this intention, this Mass, this morning, for my auntie, Rosario Flamenco, who passed away two days ago in El Salvador. I would like to pray for her soul. My dear friends, to prepare to celebrate this second mystery, let us call to my our sins.
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Let us pray. Gladden us with the holy joy, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with this devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where He, the head, has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier work, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations. For 40 days, he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you have heard me speak about. John baptized with water but you, not many days from now, will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, 
but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shout for joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts for joy. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God. Sing praise. Sing praise to our King. Sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is king over the nations. God reigns on his holy throne. God mark his throne for the church of God. I bring a trumpet for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed to bring you to full knowledge of him. May he enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his call holds for you, what rich glories he has promised the saints will inherit and how infinitely great is the power that he has exercised for us believers. This you can tell from the strength of his power at work in Christ when he used it to raise him from the dead and to make him sit at his right hand in heaven, far above every sovereignty, authority, power or domination or any other name that can be named, not only in this age but also in the age to come. He has put all things under his feet and made him as the ruler of everything, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills the whole creation. The word of the Lord. Would you please welcome the gospel. And teach all people my gospel. I am with you always until the end of the world. Sing
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples set out for Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him. Though some hesitated, Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has given to me. Go therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them to obey all the command I gave you. And note that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. The Gospel of the Lord. French people always have a saying that each time we say goodbye, sons die in us. Why? Leaving home, leaving family, leaving friends, leaving the place when we born. Of course, is that mixed feeling? Of course, make us sad. When I back and I reflect how Jesus' disciple feel at the moment when his master, his teacher, his leader mentioned to them that he need to go. I think for a moment, and I reflect, the Jesus disciple experienced that sadness to lose his master. They were not able to see his teacher anymore. I am not French, I am Spanish, and I don't pretend to be French because I love my Spanish accent. But I remember very well the day when I left my own country, my own family, and I remember very well that my own dad, he was very ill. And my dad said to me, son, don't worry for me. You go, because I know that you love God and you love his church. You go. It's no matter what happened with me. Don't worry what happened to me. Please never back. Just continue your journey. It was sad for me. My heart was broken. And especially when I kneel and I ask to my dad to give me his blessing. And my dad said to me, he took my hands and he said to me, Please forgive me to not be the father that you must. Maybe I, I didn't be the father that you want. You forgive me. If you forgive me, give me your blessing. And after that, he gave his blessing. And I came to this country. 
almost 15 years ago. He said, I will be the big liar, my dear friend, if I can tell you it's easy to leave home, the family, and especially your parents. For my big surprise, seven months after I came to this country, my dad passed away. But my dad, I know from heaven, he looked after me. Before he died, he taught me a lot. But the three things still keep very fresh in my mind. Dad said to me, my son, if God called you to be a priest, you will be a priest, but always remember, you need to be a priest who cry when your Christian community cry, to laugh and enjoy when your Christian community is happy. But the most important, make sure you have time when people come in to see you, when a people come in and approach you for the sacrament of reconciliation. My friends, so right, Robert Peterson said, the ascension of the Lord is the great Lynch, lynch pink in Jesus Christ. The fact that Jesus ascending into heaven and he sit down in the throne with God is just a proof that his cross was successful. For me, the ascension of the Lord only remind us two things. Firstly, that Jesus is God. He destroyed death. He died on the cross because he loved us. But the most important, he returned. He came back to the place when he came before from heaven. And how he did that, how Jesus conquered all the universe and become our king, our God, simple, by dying on the cross. For me, the ascension of the Lord just remind us two things. That you and me, we are not belong to this universe. That you and me, we are belong to heaven. And heaven is a true homeland. Fifteen years ago, left my country, my parents, my family, was a sad moment for me. But my strong faith, my hope, is one day I will see that in heaven. And he will remind me, remember what I told you? That you need to be a good priest? That you need to look after your Christian community? My dear friends, I would like to finish my reflection this morning to make a deal with you. And my deal is, Connie, if you die before me, I promise I will do a beautiful funeral for you. But if I die before you, you promise you will be attend my funeral. And when both of us, we meet again in heaven, we shake our hands and we we'll say, deal, we promise. I show you a simple way to go into heaven. 
In that way, my dear parishioners, is Jesus Christ. I could like him by you please stand. And together, we profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to just the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. I would like to invite Leslie. If please come forward to lead this morning with the prayer of the faithful. <clears throat> Jesus promised us that when we receive into the Holy Spirit, we shall be his disciple to the end of the earth. This morning, let us pray to one another. Let us pray to God our Father for the grace to respond to his calling. We pray for the leaders of our church that they may be given the strength and courage to lead us in the front line of the current spiritual battle that we face. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray for the leaders of our country, <coughs> that they may believe in goodness and proclaim it with honesty and truth in all they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray for all those who are sick, that God may be their strength and grant them good health and also bless all those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear we pray for our community of St. Peter the Apostle, who are here gathered around this table of remembrance. We pray for all our community who are not able to be here, especially during this time of transition and return to their place of worship. We pray for understanding, patience, respect, and tolerance towards each other during this time. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all those who have died and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. We pause for a moment, and I would like to invite you, in the quietness from your heart, you present to God your own intention. Lord, hear us. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we know that you will grant all this needed. As you are the source of all mercy and love, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord.
and pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may raise up to heavenly. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conquer our sin and death, Ascending today to the highest heaven, as the angels gaze in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of us. He ascending not to distant himself from our lovely estate, but that we, his members, may be confident, follow him. Where our head and our founder has gone before. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people exulting your praise, and even the heavenly pathways with the angelic host, sing together the unending King of your glory as they acclaim. Sending down your spirit upon them, light the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed. And entered willingly into his passion. He took bread. Give you thanks. Broken. Gave you to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will give an art for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one more he gave him there. 
he gave you to his disciple, saying, They did, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have helped us with it, to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Apple, Timothy, our bishop, Don, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Remember this morning, Lord, your daughter, Rosario Flamenco, our family and friends, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Peter, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life, and may his praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. through him, and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. This morning, as a one body, as a one family, we sing together the prayer that Jesus taught us. <laughs>
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to you, Apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer to one another the sign of peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your Behold the Lamb of God, before him who take away the sins of the world, bless your those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I am the Lord of the
Let us pray. Almighty and a living God, we love those on us to celebrate this divine mystery. Grant, we pray, that Christian home may draw us all to where our nature is united with you. We ask this through Christ abroad. In a very special way, I would like to thank Leslie to come and to help us to read this morning. Thank you, Ken, to come and to help us as Acolyte. Thank you to the beautiful choir who always sing for us. You know that people from Dubai, Spain, El Salvador, United States, say that you seem beautiful. Thank you so much, eh? Thank you, my beautiful parishioners, as well, for coming this morning. Believe or not, I say to a 30 parishioners, you make my day. Because I realize that it's not my priesthood, the priesthood Jesus entrusted to me to share in this community of St. Peter the Apostle. When I share with you, when I can see you smiling, when I see you happy, I am happy. At the end of the day, my dear parishioners, my role as a priest is just to be a bridge to bring you close to God. For your personal intention, I implore the protection of a very good mother. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ to love and say the Lord. Thank you for coming, everyone, and have a beautiful day.